reasons to doubt Try to keep me down But I'll put the flame out You can't get to me Throw your sticks and your stones Go break all of my bones You won't ache my soul You can't get to me And there is no barricade That I can't tear away Howdy folks, Mytho here I know it's been a while Sometimes things just get in the way and you got to take care of yourself, take a step back, but back on the trail. Things are going great. I'm here doing the Mount Benson Loop. It is late March, so I'm expecting to see snow as I get up near the top of the loop. And uh, yeah, should be a great time. It's definitely been a while since I've been out on the trails, but it shouldn't be that hard to get back into the swing of things. It's nice five degrees out right now at the base of the mountain. We'll see what it's like up top. Nice little uh, creek running in behind me. Weather's definitely a lot nicer than it is back in Alberta. Now we have the age-old question. Do we go the easy way? Or do we go the hard way? Come on, hard way's gotta be fun. just met a super friendly pupper coming down the trail the other way named Clover she came from the lookout so she didn't go all the way up to the top but still super friendly the owner was nice as well but the dog that's where it's at all right here's the first lookout on Mount Benson. Let's take a look here. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning, stunning views. Well worth the stop at the first lookout. Well, just had two gents come down the uh, the trail. They went up to the top. <sighs> Asked if I had spikes. <laughs> I said no, of course, because I don't. They're carrying the spikes, so we'll see what the conditions are like when we get up there. We'll see if I can actually summit or not. <laughs> One way to find out, I guess. Well, normally I would say first river crossing, but it's more like first creek crossing because, uh, yeah, there's not much water to it. 
Still nice to see running water though. Well, starting to get into the snow now. Temperature's dropping a little bit, which I'm fine with because I'm actually quite hot right now. Just met another nice puffer on the trail. Big fluffy husky. This trail's getting better by the moment. Trail's definitely changed a little bit from the, the summertime hike that I did here. Trail markers are still the same. Remember, if you're trying to climb a mountain and you get lost, just point your feet up. You'll get there eventually. I can definitely see why some people would want spikes. <sighs> the snow can be a little slick where people have walked, but overall so far it's not too bad. Not sure what happened there, but looks like uh, my camera stopped recording for a while. Um, if you've looked at the uh, Mount Benson map, then uh, I'm coming up right now to the split where you can either go up the left or the right side of the mountain. <sighs> I haven't fully decided which one I'm going to do yet, but I guess that's a uh, decision to make when I get to a fork in the road. But uh, definitely a lot more snow because I'm about halfway up and I expect the further up I go, the more snow I'm going to get. All right, so here's the fork in the road. Uh, you'll know it's the fork in the road because, well, there's the right, there's the left. So, yeah, I guess now it's the time for me to decide, left or right. Well, I've done this trail before, and I know off to the uh, right side is a quite a steep section, and I don't have any spikes with me, so I think what I might do is just uh, not do the loop, but head up the left side and then come back down the left side. At the end of the day, you're still hiking a mountain. Who cares how you get up there, right? It's all about having fun. So, yeah. Let's take the easier trail today. So if anyone is wondering, the, uh, the snowpack, I'm about to sneeze, so bear with me. The snowpack is uh, not too bad. It's nice and compact, so you don't really sink in all that much. Uh, definitely on the left side here, you wouldn't need spikes. I can see spikes coming up in some of those sections because, well, the trail is so well hiked that the snow becomes more like ice and it's a little slippery. But, on this, it's just a nice pack of snow, so you can actually float right on top of it. Uh. So, I know I'm coming, coming to the steeper section, and I'm coming to the end of the trail. So, uh, 
Oh, I'm starting to sink in in some spots here. We'll see how uh, it goes as we continue to progress. Oh, well, let's put that camera back on focus here. We'll see how we go as we progress. And it looks like we have more of a water obstacle now. So let's see what we can do to figure our way across this. I'm almost sinking straight across here. I haven't done this before, but why don't we try filming as we cross and we're going to see if I can still play the game, the floor is lava and not touch the water. Oh, my inner child is still strong. Look at that. That lava didn't get me today. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, round two. <sighs> Floor is lava again. I'm thinking a little bit of footprints here. And then try and skirt right up around here. And uh, I'm thinking I'll be dry actually just looking at it. I also might be able to do here. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to go for the one on the left. Uh, let's try and film this live again. As if I had a doubt. Actually, I did. I was thinking I was going to get my feet wet on that one. Oh, well. The sun keeps poking in and out behind some clouds. When the sun is out and it's not windy, oh, is it ever beautiful out. It's about six degrees in the town of Nanaimo. Now, I'm climbing up the mountains, so I would expect it to drop down colder. And uh, near the top of the mountain, I would not be surprised if it was at or around the zero degree mark. This is all in Celsius. What's that in Fahrenheit? Uh, I don't know. 38 degrees Fahrenheit? Maybe 40 degrees Fahrenheit? Somewhere in there, I don't know. Why you would have a temperature system based off of when salt brine freezes. Seems pretty arbitrary to me. Uh, whatever. They're all an arbitrary measuring system. All hell, the Calvin overlords. <laughs> All right, I got another fork in the road. Let's see which way we're going. One nice thing about hiking on compact snow is it puts you above all the roots, the rocks, everything like that. So yeah, it's a little bit more work as you slide and slip apparently can't keep the camera in focus but it's also consistent the train's consistent and it's all just left foot right foot I mean really that's what it's about I think heading up here it's probably going to be the better path we'll find out I don't know I got to be about a kilometer from the summit the snow is not challenging in on itself but it makes all your steps up that much steeper because instead of stepping up, say, onto a log or a root or something, you're stepping up onto the same log, the same root, plus a snowpack. And of course, I had to forget my poles in the car. And I'm not turning around now 
to go get them just to hike all the way back up here. <sighs> well, it's definitely slow going on this last kilometer, but uh, I mean, it's a pretty good incline here as well. So just slow and steady up the hill. All you can do. This last stretch on the left side is pretty good. The, uh, the snow definitely makes it a lot harder than in the summer. So far, I have not needed spikes, but I'm really wishing that I took my poles with me. Because <sighs> that would definitely make this climb a lot easier. And the fun part is, I brought them all the way out here with me to use them. I just forgot to grab them. So, oh well. Nobody to blame but myself. Great views though. There's always one more hill. And once you cross that hill or get up the hill, surprise, surprise, there's always another hill. Made it back to the top of Mount Benson. No spikes, no poles. It was a great hike. All right, let's get some clothing on and let's make some lunch. All right, let's see what we have for lunch today. Wow, this is a little awkward. There we go, I think that's gonna be framed better. Let's see what we have for lunch today. Ooh, mountain chili, that makes sense. We're on top of a mountain. Of course it's mountain chili. Okay. Trail mix while I wait. I'm being pestered right now by some whiskey jacks because they want my trail mix. And they need to go away. While I wait for that to boil, I'm gonna have some trail mix. Try not to have it robbed by the whiskey jacks. Ooh, lava shot. Definitely will be going down. I see you eyeing up my food. Get out of here. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hey, don't do it. I'm no Disney princess. Oh. Oh, it's so nice and hard. Mm. Help if I put the lid on. Oh yeah. Nothing like frozen lava shop. Mm. So good. Of course, can't forget, forget to take out the silica. Yeah, I know. I'm using pre-made one instead of my uh, normal homemade stuff, but I had it to use up, so I figured, why not? Yeah. Look at it. Look at it. I feel like I'm a Disney princess. Right? Hey, little fella. You want to try and steal my food again? That's what I thought. Almost ready. I'm gonna boil a little bit more. I don't think I brought any coffee up with me, but I'm still gonna have some hot water. Just 
got some warmth in me. Oh, there we go. Okay. Get rid of that. Ooh, warm. Warm. Oh. Try not to burn yourself. I'm just going to dump that in there. Okay. Whiskey jacks are back. They can smell my cooking. Like, seriously, look at this. I got one little guy here. Hey, 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 come on. Come on. Come on. Get out of here. Get out of here, you little rascals. Can't do anything in peace, can you? All right. Round two. This is for warm water. Man, I got two of these little guys now just sitting here staring at me. Wanted my food. You can't handle my food. I will hit you with this. Watching you. Man, whiskey jacks. Hey. Oh, that's lava shot. You know what? You can actually have that. Here, I dropped it. Go on. good old-fashioned hot water. Hey, okay, get back. Ooh, that's nice to hold on the hands. Nice and warm, of course. Get your long-handled spoon. Titanium, of course, because, you know, makes all the difference. Really. You just need a long-handled spoon. Oh, yeah. Mmm, delicious. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this, and then I'll uh, I'll update you in a moment. All right, folks. Well, I guess it's time for me to start making a move down. I just had a trail runner come up the other way, the side that uh, is supposed to be a little bit steeper. Well, I know it's a little bit steeper. So I think I'll gear down and then uh, I'll try and hit the steeper side so that I can complete the full loop. <laughs> Let's see what happens. There we go. Everything fits, I promise. Definitely not overloading a day pack. Oh, total time right now is three hours and 20 minutes. All right. Let's carry on. Well, the whiskey jacks were definitely fun to uh, deal with, but Whatever, it's not the end of the world. It was a little fun as they were scampering about, harassing me, trying to steal everything I have. Because, you know, that's what whiskey jacks do. <sighs> Just beautiful. Everywhere you go, beautiful. The fun part is always trying to go down. Especially when you forgot your poles. I miss my stabby devices. Wish me luck! At least they put this nice rope here for me to uh, help myself down. Could have used it a little ways up though. Ah, at least those trees break my fall. Food in my belly. 
going downhill. Speed is really picked up this way. Who would think going down the mountain is easier than going up the mountain? Who would have thunk it? All right, I think the left side at that fork in the road would actually be the harder way to go up right now. Uh, just because the trail here is quite, well, steady. There's one steep section right at the end, but otherwise it's a steady, no big steps, you're just going. Whereas when I went up on the left, it was a tough slog because everything was big steps up. So I took it because it's supposed to be the easier route. Should have taken the hard way like I normally do. <laughs> oh well. I'm making great time coming down here. I'm just sailing. All right. Another fork stuck in the road. Which way do I go? That way? Or that way? Well, I've been left so far, so let's stay left. All right. Well, I've got a nice slippery section here. And I'm wondering if the best way is to just slide it. So. God, still have time for fun. <laughs> Never forget you're still a child inside. Well now. The last section was fun to slide. This section, I got a nice little icy patch right there. And I got a nice little tree right there that's sticking out. And I don't really feel like hitting that. This will be fun. Well, I can definitely see if you were to climb by going right, how you would want ice spikes, because there's definitely some slippery sections. Uh, I think more slippery than uh, heading up uh, on the left trail. But coming down, it's actually been fairly fun. Well, ain't this fun. I'm gonna hike down a little bit of a creek. I think I'll be getting my feet wet this time. Just kidding, I'm way too good at the game. The floor is lava. Feet are still dry. And just like that, I'm at the fork in the road again. And I wonder, which way do I have to go down to get back to the parking lot? I wonder if it's the way down. One thing that I do get a good chuckle out of on this trail is most of the trees, like this, the bark's been rubbed off of them. <laughs> From people using them to help them down the hill. It's on way more trees than you would expect. But I've been using them as well, so can't blame people. On to the last final stretch. I probably got you know a kilometer and a half to go. But uh, it's been a fun trail so far. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Even in the winter. Uh, let's see here. I think summer would still take the cake. Just because it's not as cold up at the top. But uh, the snow was definitely a, a nice fun challenge. So, yeah, just time to go make my way down. All right, and just like that, we start descending out of the snow and we start seeing more and more dirt. The further down we go. That means I'm probably gonna have to take my sweater off. It's gonna be too hot. Might as well do that now. All right, this is a pretty cool change, so Behind me 
is a fair bit of snow. In front of me is not a lot of snow. Who would think? It's almost somebody was like, and at this point, the snow shall stop and there shall be no more. All right. Well, I'm at the, uh, the end of the trail now. Total time was four hours and 40 minutes. I did uh, about nine kilometers and I was moving at about 3K an hour. Not that it matters, it was just fun. Happy trails, folks.